In this question, we've been asked to solve the equation 7 to the power of 2x subtract 6 multiplied by 7 to the power of x plus 5 equals 0. So in this, this looks a little bit like a quadratic. We've got our 7 to the power of x here. We've got 7, but it's to the power of 2x. And we've got our no, uh, constant on the end, our number, and then it equals 0. Let's actually let's look at this 7 to the power of 2x. So 7 to the power of 2x. Now, you should remember a law called... Uh, to the power of a power. If we had seven to the power of x and that all squared, because it's a power of a power, well, we times them together. So if I was to have this seven to the power of x squared, we times them together and that would be seven to the power of two x. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go backwards here. I'm gonna actually take the seven to the power of two x and I'm gonna rewrite it like this. So I'm gonna write seven to the power of x and do that to the power of two. And then subtract six multiplied by seven to the power of x plus five and equals zero. So notice here, I've got my seven to the power of x and I've got my seven to the power of x. Well, I'm not gonna let, let y equals seven to the power of x. So that will give us y squared minus six y plus five equals zero. So I'm now gonna factorize this. So factorizing this would give us, put y at the front of both brackets. Uh, they've got a times together to be five and I think it would be minus six. So I'm gonna go for minus five minus one. So that means that y would equal 5 or y would equal 1. But the question had x's, so let's to go back to where we had let y equal 7 to the power of x. And we're going to write that down. Instead of y, we'll write 7 to the power of x. So we're going to write 7 to the power of x equals 5 or 7 to the power of x equals 1. Now this one's easy. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. So that means that x would be equal to 0 here. And on this one, well, uh, we've got 7 to the power of x equals 5. Well, that means that, well, let's take the log of both sides. Well, if we take the log of both sides, we'd get log 7 to the power of x equals log 5. Bring the power down, so we've got x log 7 equals log 5. And then divide by log 7, so we're going to get x equals log 5 divided by log 7. And when we, when we work that out, we get our answer. We get our answer 0.8271. So then that means that we've got our two answers at x equals 0 or x equals 0 0.8271.